Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be downloading and installing the PlayStation 3 open source emulator called RPCS3 and we're going to be running this on a Windows PC. So this is going to teach you how to install it and also how to get games set up for the best settings on a Windows computer. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go to the rpcs3.net and we'll click the download button here in order to download this software. And because we're on a Windows computer, we're going to download the Windows version of RPCS3. I'll click this now. So here I've downloaded RPCS3 and this is a .7z file. So we're going to need to use the application 7-zip in order to extract that file. So all you need to do is to download this file here. I'm going to leave a link to the 7-zip.org website. And all you need to do is to click the download here. And once 7-zip is downloaded, we can click on it to go through the installation window. If it's saying that we have an unrecognized app, we can just click more info and click run anyway. Click install and close. So once we return to RPCS3, what we can do is to right click on the 7-zip file, find the new 7-zip context menu, and then click extract to this folder. So I'm going to extract it to the automatically generated folder. And now our folder is here. I'm going to double click on it. And now we have RPCS3 here. What I'm going to do is to move this into a new folder. I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop. We're going to call this one RPCS3. And basically you're going to drag and drop or cut and paste everything into this folder here. And so now we have it in a nice and tidy place. So next step is that we need to go and download the PlayStation 3 update files. So I'm gonna leave a link to this part of the playstation.com website in the description. What we need to do is to click the latest system update, which is 4.88. We're gonna click download PS3 update here. If the download button doesn't work, what you can do is right click on the button and then click save link as, and then we're gonna get to the PS3 update. What I'm gonna do is put it in my RPCS3 folder here and click save. If it's giving you an error message here, what we can do is click here and click keep. So now that we have all the files we need, we're going to move on to the next step. So here we're going to open up our RPCS3 folder. I want to double click on rpcs3.exe. And now we've opened up the emulator. What it's asking us to do is to click I have read the quick start guide. Just check this here. I'm going to click do not show again and press continue. And now we have RPCS3 open. What we need to do next is to click on file and then click install firmware. Now we're going to select the ps 3 updatepup that we put into the RPCS3 folder and click open. I'm going to let this install 4.88 and press OK. So this will just take a couple of minutes to install. And now once we're ready, we're ready to move on to the next step. So here I've got the game Demon's Souls. It's coming as a raw file. So this is relatively easy to find online. In order to find most PS3 game ISO files, all you need to do is to go to Google and then type in something like Demon's Souls PS3 ISO. If we do a search for this, we'll often find many links to various mirrors where you can find ISO files. So lots of these will produce RAW files. So I'm gonna open up this one here using 7-zip. So I'll right click on the RAW file. And we'll use 7-zip to extract to the folder. So now that this folder has fully extracted using 7-zip, so I've extracted the folder now, I want to add the game, we're going to click the open button here, then we're going to go to our desktop, we're going to go into the Demon's Souls folder itself, we're going to double click on the Demon's Souls subfolder here, and then we're going to select this folder. So this one is the parent folder of the PS3 game and a PS3 update, here we're going to press select folder. So now that the game has been loaded up, we're now almost ready to play the game. The next thing that we need to do is to make sure we have a controller configured. So we're going to click this pad button here. We we'll to make sure that we have the correct input device. What's quite handy here is that we have some pre-selects where we can choose what kind of controller we have. So I'm using the Xbox One controller, but you could easily be using a DualShock 3 or DualShock 4 or a DualSense for the PlayStation 5. However, what I'm going to be doing is configuring my Xbox One controller. So therefore, I'm going to select X input here. And this is going to load up my controller here. If I move my analog sticks, you can see on the bottom right here, this has all been configured correctly. So basically, I'm going to press the save button here. Basically, before I launch the game, I'm going to press the configure button here. Then we're going to go to the GPU section. We're going to make sure that we have the correct resolution and such set up correctly. If you want to increase your resolution, make sure not to touch the default resolution button here. This will cause various issues. However, you can actually enable the resolution scale. So if you put it to something like 150%, we're going to get 1080p, which is what we're recording on at the moment on this monitor. So I'm going to enable this. I'm going to press save. So the other settings that you can check out too, I recommend that you check out the RPCS3 wiki. If you go down to configuration here, you can also see what kind of resolution scaling that you should be doing. So I'm just going to go back to my game, go to config, and then check that this all matches up. 
So it's asking us to set the resolution for a scale threshold to 640 by 640. So I'm gonna put mine up to 640 by 640 as it says. So in order to set this higher, we get it really close to where we want it to go. Then we can use the scroll wheel to get exactly what we want. That's 640 by 640. We also have here the option to write color buffers. Here we've got the initial setting here, so I'm gonna enable this. So now that it's all done, I'm gonna press save. We also have another thing that we can do, which is click on manage and then game patches. And if we select this button here, only show owned games, we can download latest patches. Here we're gonna press okay. And then I'm gonna go down to here, and this is my Demon Souls install. And then we have the option here to do things like unlock the frame rate, skip intro videos. I'm going to enable both of these now and press save. And now we're gonna launch the game by double clicking and pressing play. So here RPCS3 is doing some compilation of various modules. These are prerequisites for running any PlayStation 3 game through RPCS3. All we have to do is wait a little bit of time for this to complete. Now what I'm gonna do is to full screen the game. And we can see here we've got the frame rate on the top left. We're using the Vulcan renderer. And I'm gonna continue playing the game. So it's possible to full screen this by pressing the Alt Enter key in order to not see the toolbars. However, I'm gonna keep this on so we can see the frame rate correctly. Here I'm gonna press new game. Press OK. So here I'm going to load up the game and create my character. So now this game is running correctly, we're able to play Demon's Souls and we're running at 60 frames per second on my GTX 1070 with the 3700X Ryzen 5 and this is all working wonderfully. So we're running this at basically 1080p with the rendering resolution set to higher and this is working great on this machine. Here I'm just going to play a little bit of this combat just to show you that it's all working smoothly. So anyway, this is how you get PlayStation 3 emulation working through RPCS3 on a Windows computer. I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other tutorials on my channel which you can check out about gaming fixes and emulation. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.